director of athletics, uh, Don Cook. And of course, it was announced the last week that Don has announced that uh, at the end of this academic year, he will be retiring. And uh, I think I mentioned to you a few days ago when I saw you, Don, it's, it's bittersweet for me because I'm, I'm happy for you and congratulations, but I'm going to be sad that you're not going to be here as often as you are now. I'm sure you'll still be around, but uh, congratulations on the well, retirement. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. It's, uh, it's bittersweet for me in a lot of ways as well, but I, I think it was the right time for me in terms of where I am in, in my life, and uh, uh, I'm also excited about turning a page and moving into a new, new chapter, another phase of uh, my life experience. I have a lot of catching up to do for sure with family and grandchildren and and uh, you know there are a few things that happened in my life over the last couple of years that really were kind of triggered the decision for me and uh, you know you have to listen to the messages and, and I finally got it yeah and uh, you know I know that you love being around the student athletes and above all things you put academics and being involved in the community is very high priorities right. as much as what students do on the court or on the field. Um, was it a difficult decision for you stepping away at this time? Well, you know, Jeff, in a way, I don't know if I ever knew anything else. You know, if it, I, from the time I was an undergraduate athlete, I spent 51 years at this, and, um, and it's been a wonderful experience, and probably the most the gratifying part of it is I've met many wonderful people working at three different institutions and obviously the most vivid memories I have are right here at Sacred Heart University. Uh, I, uh, it, it, was, it was kind of a surreal, uh, irrational in some ways decision, but it was one that I was ready to make and, uh, and I'm, I'm very much at peace with it. I know that you've been very busy, you always have been since I've met you in the decade plus that you've been here. but. Have you ever had a few free moments where you've just kind of stepped back and looked at what you've accomplished and what the university has accomplished here at Sacred Heart during your time here? Because the university, the athletic programs have, have grown so much. Did you ever step back and just kind of soak it all in? Well, you know, I'll have plenty of time to do that, Jeff. Um, but you, 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 you said that very well. I, I, it's, uh, it's really been... Um, quite a run in, in many respects, but thankfully it's because I've, I'm surrounded with great coaches, great administration, wonderful people that have been supportive of me over the years. And, uh, you know, when I think of the five consecutive Commissioner's Cups and the community service things, and as you alluded to, how the kids are doing in school academically, I say to myself, boy, are you a lucky human being to have been around that. When you think back at at your career and people remember you as a legendary baseball coach but was this where you pictured yourself being at this point in time when you first started out in this business in athletics Jeff I had not a clue as to just where I was going to wind up uh, I think what I did and uh, uh, in, in one respect is that opportunities that presented themselves I took a, a close look at and if it was a good fit and a good match for me I I, I, I moved on to the next phase. I spent 23 wonderful years at my alma mater at Fairfield and, and then six years in helping the, the uh, University of Hartford convert their program from two to one. And then uh, uh, and when I left there, I had no idea what was in store when I came to Sacred Heart University. I knew that at that time, the university had a number of challenges as it relates to enrollment and whether or not they, the, they, they were going to be able to change their paradigm as, a re, as it impacts the, you know, the marketplace. And then uh, I kind of followed the lead of the President Sonero and Bill Jim Barconero. They asked me to develop some new programs, see what we could do strategically to uh, move the enrollment in the right direction, and at the same time be as competitive as we could be in athletics. And then in the midst of all that, uh, we, the, the uh, Pitt Center was developed in 1997. And we had a conversation about, well, where do we really belong? And we, we looked at all the options, including Division Three. And then one day I, I said to, to Jim and the president, I said, you know, I only know Division One. That's, that's, that's my home. That's where I'm really more comfortable. And not that I didn't enjoy Division Two, but I, I didn't have any frame of reference for it when I, when I came here until I got here. And then we decided, okay, let, let's, let's, let's give it a run.
provided we could get into a conference that would accept us. And coincidentally, at that time, Ryder and Maris left the NEC and it opened the door for us, and the rest of it just happened. Yeah, I'm not going to put you on the spot about the future, but I would think, and I think people know, that you're still going to be around in some capacity, that now that you have a chance to go down a different road and maybe uh, step back a little bit and do some consulting for the university and for the conference, that maybe you can kind of go down that road and, and maybe stepping back from the whole picture a little bit, a little bit offer some insights into where everybody can kind of go in the future. Is that something you have an interest well, in? Well, absolutely, and, I, and I've, I've given that a fair amount of thought, and we've had some conversations about that. We don't have anything uh, etched in granite at this point, and, and I'm not really emotionally ready to to make any major decisions about anything right now. Uh, I still have another six months uh, th in, in, in this role. Um, I'd like to uh, do some teaching in the sports management program. I've done some of that kind of thing at the University of New Haven. Uh, so I, I, uh, I'm all fr from my perspective, I'm going to just try to be as open-minded and as, as flexible as I, for once in my life, be flexible, which I was never very good at. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that time. And, you know, we've said this on the air many times, uh, Bill Peterson and myself and other people as well. I mean, we go around to different universities and different schools, and you're so well-respected and so liked, and you've accomplished so much. Really, a legendary Hall of Fame figure in, in intercollegiate athletics. Is there any kind of mantra that you kind of went by when you went through this journey that, uh, that kind of set the pace, set the direction? Well, I think, one, uh, first of all, you, you, your comments are more than generous, and, 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 and thank you for that. Uh, I think the greatest blessing I have had is being around the, the great people, the student athletes that I've uh, come in touch with over the years. Uh, I was absolutely astounded that once the announcement was made, some of the people I heard from, it was very humbling, and it was, it was, it was overwhelming. Uh, but I think the greatest blessing I had in all of this is that I was around kids that got their degrees, did something with their lives after they left here, and it's very rewarding to still hear from them. And I'm going way back to the 1970s. I had players that, my gosh, Jeff, when I first started coaching, I had players that just came back from Vietnam that were older than me. You know, and they're they're 75 and they still hear from me. <laughs> So uh, that, that's to me the most gratifying thing is the, the, the continuity of the contact and, the, and, the, and to know that the people that I've been associated with, not because of me, but because of them, they've been very successful. Well, Sacred Heart Director of Athletics Don Cook has announced his retirement following this academic year. And uh, Don, I just want to say that it's been an honor to know you and work for you, and I've enjoyed every minute, and I hope Jeff, to see you a lot in the future. Well, we have a lot more to do yet, and thank you very much for what you've done for us. Don Cook.